This podcast is intended for listeners over the age of 19 in Ontario, and we ask that you respect your local laws regarding cannabis. As I have said many times before, please be sure to like, download, follow, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. Hello, Amanda. Hi, Annie. (laughs) You know, it's hilarious that we've done 60 episodes of this and you still have to write it down. And I still get it wrong. (laughs) It's so funny. (laughs) It's a thing now that I have to, you're like, we know this. I'm like, no, I have to have it written down. I need to have some sort of semblance of, like, rhythm going in. Yeah. And... After 60 episodes, you'd think that I wouldn't need it, but it's a comfort blanket well, now. Well, there you go. And I'm allowed to have that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Now, th- this has been such an awesome season. We've had so many awesome guests, and, like, so many good things have happened. But you and I haven't really shared any, like, of our own, like, weird things that we find over, you know, over the, the course the, of our week. The things that happen, yeah, there, every ep- every season seems to be heavy on this or heavy on that. And we haven't really talked too much about ourselves. No, not too, too much. Not uh, this which, season. Which is great. I mean, my life is great. The kids are great. They're finishing up school. My yep. son just had his 11th birthday party. Mm-hmm. Best birthday party ever. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. Yo, when they get to that age, like, they don't even want you around. Well, no, that was it. It was like, just stay away, Mom. Okay, yeah. I can okay. do that. I can do that. Yeah. But there have been some funny things that have happened, some interesting mm-hmm. things, some mm-hmm. battles. So Some battles. I had a battle recently. Let's go. So my battle recently was I got a... Uh, I, I got a flat tire. No, I hit a pothole. That's what happened. And then found out that I had bent my, the rim of my car. Oh, and so annoying. I was so pissed because I had already reported this pothole. Right, like I, I am that person who, like, when I see a pothole, I call the city and report it. Right, says, stop there, Amanda. You are not one to be pissed off. Don't piss me off, right? <laughs> like, you know. Anyway, so I had reported it. Nothing was done. I bent my rim. Called the city. Had a bit of a, you know, like a back and forth with them. But they ended up refunding me, or reimbursing me for the five hundred plus dollars it cost for me to get my my rim repaired. Right. You undersell yourself. I think in the time between your bent rim and being reimbursed, you how many? I pot have reported. Are in the city? Yes. I have reported o- almost a hundred potholes throughout the the city, mostly in our our neighborhood. Yes. But uh, all over the city, all the time. Oh, and it, I got the ones in front of our school fixed. Well, you got mine outside on on the going out onto the main street, and they've been an issue for years. I was like, oh, one day they'll deal with yeah, that. Yeah, no, 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 no. And and I figured it out. The trick is you gotta like you gotta report it so many times for them to like actually do something. But once it's reported, they have an obligation through. There's like a a set of rules that municipalities have to follow when it comes to, like, roads and stuff. So they only have, like, a, you know, a few days to fix the, like, big potholes. But if you report those little ones enough, they will come and do it. And I got the one in front of the school fixed because the principal was telling me that he's been trying to get it filled for months, like, basically since the snow melted. And I called and all I had to tell them was, like, oh, it's, it's right where the kindergartners walk across the street and it's deep enough that if one of those kinders was to fall in that <laughs> they would you know like break their ankle See, right you think it's perseverance it's annoyance they hear your voice is very recognizable that's right and there's only so many people who work in that department oh they laugh when they hear my voice now <sighs> yes amanda yeah that's it uh, we won't put you on hold. Yeah, no, we just, won't do that to you, yeah. Amanda. We'll, we'll just keep you on that. Can you just wait on a silent, you know, while I fill out, and I can hear them going tick, 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 oh, on the computer. with this bitch? <laughs> no, <laughs> I always wish them the best day. Well, do you know what's really great? You got this huge one done just outside my neighbor's house. That mm-hmm. was such a big pothole. I was walking after uh, dropping Anina off of school one day, and it was a rainy day, and a car went by, and the big wave came out, and I just got fully drenched, and I screamed, oh, shit. Yeah. And, of course, there was several moms around, yeah. one, like, two feet away, and she turned to me and smiled and just dripping. and oh. You got that one fixed, so yeah. thank you. Yeah. So people who, you know, if you drive, you when nope. you see it, those potholes, like, report them. Is this know your rights or... Fight for your rights. I think this is more of a 
fight for your tax dollars to be spent in a, in a productive way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because really and truly, like... Like, we don't hold our municipalities accountable for, well, I don't know, Do you got your tax bill recently, so did I. Mine, it, it went up like everything else. Right? I mean, I taxed out of my house. That's right. It's so like everybody not, else. Right? I, yeah. just, I just want my tax dollars to do what the government says they're going to do with them. Which is, yeah, good on you, man. That's all I care about. Like, just do what you say you're going to do. And think about how many people's rims you saved in your tirade. Because Amanda yes. has said she was already set up with a team to write an app and all of this. Oh, yeah. To report I, and just make the city not oh, yeah. I, I, across I, Straight up, if they didn't reimburse me for that, the, the fury that would have came down on our city. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, on the topic of oh. roads. Okay. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a hard left here. Um... Our taxpayers are in this city because we're growing so quickly. Yeah. A lot of them are going to new roads. Mm-hmm. There's a road that I use a lot called Big Bay, and they, oh, yeah. they're widening it. So they had one side. They're done that. It's beautiful and smooth. The other side is dirt and working mm-hmm. people doing their thing. They're going quick. It's a good job they're doing. Yeah. But you're always stuck in traffic. Yep. So I'm sitting there, and there's this guy on his break walking towards Wait, on me. A, on his break? Well, oh, like a construction walk. worker? Yeah, a construction oh, oh, worker. Oh, okay, okay. In his construction suit. Done a hard day's work. He's talking on his phone, walking along. He obviously finishes his call, mm-hmm. looks at his phone, and I guess he realizes that it's dirty. Yeah. So he licks it. What? Big, thick, wide, Ew. wet lick from the bottom of the phone. Ew. I'm doing actions here so Amanda can really see this. All the way from the bottom to the top. Ugh. And then he wipes the phone Buff, 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 all over his sleeve. Looks at it again. I guess there was one particularly pesky, crusty spot. Mm-hmm. And this time he just did a kind of a peck. Ugh. Like the first one was like a lick from like the a... navel up to the clavicle. Oh the God. second one was just like a cheek nibble. <laughs> oh. So I Phones? guess that crusty spot gives it a little, a little lick. And wipes it again, inspects his phone, gives himself kind of like a nod, like, yeah, looks good. Puts uh. it back in his pocket. Oh, COVID. Yeah. Yo, phones are dirtier than toilet seats. Like, really and truly, when you think about it, like, how often do you clean your phone? Like, I clean my phone every single day because I used to work in telecom. I don't. Okay. So how often do you clean your toilet? Often. Often. Like, you know, at least a couple of times a week. Yeah, yeah. You know? For sure. Yeah. Your phone is dirtier than your toilet and seat. It's, and it's, like, against your face. And he'd just gotten off the phone, so he... Well, and he'd been sweating and all he's, day. And he's, oh. and, it's like, and he's not wiping it on a, a, a you know, a, a precious doily or even a Lysol pad or something. He's wiping it on mm-hmm. his... Construction it, you know, yeah. uniform. Yeah, yeah. And then oh. giving it another little... And that's kind of, I think, was the kicker for me. Not the was thick, the, wet lick that started it. Because I'm, like, looking at him so hard. Like, do you not see me, like... Watching you do this? this? <laughs> but the yeah. second little lick, just because they're like, oh, that meant that there was something that was really... Grungy. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> so there's some stories from Amanda. From our recent last couple of weeks. <laughs> Oh, man. This has actually been a fabulous season. We have had so many incredible people. Mm-hmm. Um, who do we have? We had Becky from Molecule. Yes. We had Kirsten from White Rabbit. Yes. Andrew. Andrew. From Nature Lion. Yep. Chris from the Green Organic Dutchman. Yep. And then Samantha. Samantha from Naviv. Mm-hmm. And then we, you know, sort of closed out the season-ish with a couple of episodes from... The Tommy Chong. That was unbelievable. Wasn't was, it? I mean, I really feel like we were able to find and, and express a different side of Tommy. And I, when we were recording it, I don't know if you realize this, it sort of corresponded with Father's Day. And it really exposed Oh, you know what? That, I didn't mm-hmm. even think of that. Yes. yes. Hmm. It was all in the planning. I'm sure it was. Oh, but the, con- <laughs> <laughs> the conversation, I think it took, a, like when I re-listened to it, it took a moment to get going. Mm-hmm. It, and this is my analysis. It was kind of like a blind date. Yep. We'd never chatted with Tommy. Um, and I think by blind date standards, it went really well. Mm-hmm. 
We got his wife's phone number. We did get his wife's phone number. <laughs> and I told him I loved him. Mm-hmm. That's a good first date. Especially a, bl- a blind date. Well, I was going to say, you know? Yeah. First, first blind date, and you're already telling him you love him. And then, <laughs> as far as all of those guests, like, I really loved this season learning alternative ways to consume. Yes. Um, we have in the hot box right now. Oh, yeah, we're drinking Canna Joe today. Yes. Uh, Cheers. Cheer. Oh, Clinkies. It's the end of the season. Oh, that's going to be so, so loud. Sorry, sorry man. Oh, oh. Mm. I, I love like this can of Joe. I was I, I didn't quite understand how to drink it in the beginning, like mm-hmm. the first time I had it. It definitely needs to go in a glass. Yes. Right? And that I think it was Becky who taught us how to flip it over yep. because it's nitrous oxide. It's not carbonated. Mm-hmm. So you added a bit of milk and sugar. Mm-hmm. I was thinking for a real somebody who wants that thicker coffee because this is uh Yeah, it, it, well, it's like a semi semi decaffeinated because but Health Canada says you can't put the two together. I'd add a shot of espresso to oh, it for sure. and like really shush it up. Yeah, what you do delicious. with it when you get home is up to you. No, actually, you know my favorite way to drink this one? Mm-hmm. Like straight up is blended with ice and then milk and sugar in it. You, it makes a bloody frappuccino. It's a, fra- a frappe, yeah. Yeah, like Ooh. it is delicious. The best of all the worlds. Right? Infused, it's coffee, it's oh, mm, cold for the summer. Mm. Um, the white rabbit, the edibles. I, oh, yeah. you know, n- been apprehensive with myself about edibles. I love these edibles. Me too. Uh, Nature Line, growing mushrooms at home. So much fun. Yes, for everybody. Right. Learning about Chris in the Tea God facility. It's made me way more conscious and, and like ask a lot more questions. Yeah. Of like, well, where was this growing? And what is, you know, what is this company? Yeah. When you can see that like Tea God can do it that way. Right. And Why can't everybody else? And right? then my skin mm-hmm. is glowing. I know. Yo, nobody has told me that I look tired. Nobody. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I might go back to not wearing makeup anymore. Yeah, so thank you to everybody who's taking the time to be on the show. Yeah. And you know what? Actually, we should probably talk about the fact that the products that we promote on this podcast, yes. they like we don't get paid to do any of this. Nope. Uh, I think the most we ever get is like, you know, maybe a you know, like a free product to try or something or a not even an, always. You know, ex- and not always, exactly. Yeah. Um, sometimes we only get the uninfused ones, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but, it, but we promote out of love, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, these, the, all the companies that we sort of talk about are generally local to us here in Ontario, um, or at least in Canada. Yep. Um, and there are products that we use and that we enjoy, yeah. right? Like, it's not... I don't think we've expressed that enough over the season because yeah. I don't want anybody to think that it's anything here is a paid commercial. No, nothing. These are, it, there are many products that we, we will not, cannot ha- have anything to do with um, yep. that we have tried. They're like, nope, nope, uh, can't. not going to be able not... to talk nicely about that one. Yeah, it doesn't align with our values, yeah. right? So anything that we do talk about on the show is a product that we stand behind, that we have come across, that we think is stand out in yeah. the market. Yeah, for sure. Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that was 12 seasons. And Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. 12, 12 seasons? 12 episodes. Okay. I'm felt- sorry. Are you doing something sorry. without me? <laughs> 12 <laughs> episodes. Well, it's felt this like 12 season. seasons. 12 episodes. Um, and we really focused around, well, we thought we were focusing around innovative products. Yeah, but we've learned that over time that having a focus kind of does help. Yes. You'd think we would have learned that earlier, but having a focus, and that was where we started innovative products, Mm -hmm. innovative ideas. Yep. But you can't just have innovative products, and you can't just have innovative ideas, and you can't just have innovative people, because it's the innovative people with the innovative ideas that make the innovative products. Yes, because we've been saying (laughs) we're going to do innovative people next season, but we did innovative people this season. You're right. There is no innovative products or ideas or without, thoughts. Without the innovative people yes. behind them, right? Yes. So so we're just going to keep on marching, I think. I think we're going to keep rolling with this innovative people product idea thing all through season five. Wow. Season five. Right? Fuck yeah. I know. Well right? done. Well done. 
But maybe yeah. we should say no. We should say well done for season four. We'll say well done when we actually do season yeah. five. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put the. Oh, I mean, we're, the pl- horse. we're planning to come back. I like, that's the game plan. Yep. We'll be back in September. We will be back in September. Mm-hmm. Still focusing on innovative people products things. Yeah. You know? We've given out 36 episodes since last September, so I think we deserve the summer off. Yes. Um, please give that to us. Um, but, you know, each episode takes a, an army of people mm-hmm. and a lot of support and a lot of extra time to make these things happen. Yep. And I do want to uh, thank Chris again uh, from Lands- Landslide Animation. Oh, yes, our, uh, our our graphic artist who does a lot of the... Uh, well, 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 he, does, he, he does stuff for us. Chris Land designed our logo, which was amazing. And then when we found out we were having Tommy in the show... We had to have some original art... And, and nobody was going to give me a, a pencil and be like, draw something. No, and Chris is so talented and his style is so perfect. When I told him what was going on, no problem. Here you go. A week later, here's six samples. What do you want? Like, you don't have... With people who are truly talented, uh, you just don't even have to do art direction. And it's so kind to work in a in a world where people are helping each other and there is no question about it. Yeah. Um, that brings us to somebody very special. Uh, we would literally be two women sitting in a closet. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, I was really special. No, no, no. <laughs> but this th- this person is really super special to us. We we would. We'd just be talking to each other in a closet. Yes, and it's my husband, Matthew, who has been our champion, who, has, uh, who gets us... Gets us out to you <laughs> yep. through all sorts of hard work, and there's a lot of work behind the scenes to get the sound right, and also to keep us going forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been a real champion, being like, "Girls, you need to do this. Girls, right. you know, go, go, go you go. can do this, you can yep. do this." Um, but my husband's also an amazing musician, yeah, and he continues to make music. He has made music all throughout the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Nothing will stop him. So talented. He's just released a few new really cool songs. Yes. And we're going to tack one on the end of this episode to share with all of you. The song uh, that I've chosen is called Sold One. It's it, about people who tow the line, and to tow the line they've had to sell out. Uh, that is a story of many. Um, but it's a really fun summer song. It's a, I think you can really bop your head to it and quite catchy. And you can find all of his music under Fend Down Music. It's F-E-N-D-O-W-N. Um, he's actually on YouTube, Amazon, Spotify. He's in places it, that we are. I was just going to say, like in, <laughs> wherever you're listening to us, you can find him. For sure. But then look in some other places and you'll still find him where you wouldn't find us. How how do you get over there? (laughs) (laughs) But I I, I think his music is really fun and catchy and this is a particularly fun song. So we're going to share it with you all Mm -hmm. uh, because we're not going to be around for a few months. Yep. If you have happened to listen to all of the episodes of High Ladies Podcast, feel free to go back and listen again. Mm-hmm. You're more than welcome to. That's right. Um, we were in an interview recently, and the person said that they've enjoyed, and I hadn't thought about it like this, they've enjoyed listening to our relationship grow over time. Yes. And I guess since we're in it, I... I yeah, I definitely take it for granted, that's for sure. And I, I definitely feel that. You're a yep. dear friend to me now. Yeah. That uh, s- strange lady in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that weird house I go and, like, record stuff in. Like, <laughs> Drop us a ping just so we know you're okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you don't hear from me in, in three hours, send somebody. But the show itself has grown, and it wouldn't take all these people and the guests that are so willing to give us their time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was going to say, we've been guests on a lot of shows. Yeah, we've been yeah, and on tons. You can find quite a few of them. Oh, on our link tree. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I always try and put them up onto the link tree. So yeah. if you want to go and listen to some other awesome podcasts that are cannabis and not cannabis related yeah. that we've appeared on. And we're on the other side of the mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> answering things instead of asking the things. Um, yeah, you can find all those on our link tree. So it's L-I-N-K dot 
no, L A N K. Oh, figure it out. T R dot E E slash hi ladies. How about we put it in the show notes? Oh, there's an idea. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll put Chris, our wonderful graphic designer. Uh, in our show notes and uh, fend down music in our show notes. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll make sure everything is there. Um, and you know, it's it's always sad to wrap up a season. Yeah, but it also feels great. We, it feels like something's been accomplished. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to you know revigorate, go into the woods and run around, mm-hmm. and come back in September refreshed and ready. To take on a whole new season. That's right. And yeah. I'm rubbing my head. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know what? Honestly, if you've enjoyed um, listening to High Ladies and you want to sort of give back a little bit, feel free to go on to buy me a coffee and send us five Canadian dollars, which is like I don't know two fifty American, <laughs> <laughs> a liter of gas. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh! It totally is. Yeah, it's oh, sickening. No. Um, that would really mean a lot to us. Every little bit helps. If you want to support the show either even further and help us out even more, we always are welcome to that. Um, if you want to email us, you can email us at highladiespodcast at gmail.com. We are on Instagram. We will continue to post throughout the summer mm-hmm. and stay available as far as social media and our email. So you can always find us on Instagram at High Hi Ladies Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Sorry, so, I almost so, forgot. So you tease me that I have to write down the High Ladies, Hi Ladies, Hi Amanda, Hi Annie. But you but still I can't don't know our Instagram me. handle. I guess that just goes to show how often I'm on the Instagram account. <laughs> Oh, it has been fun. So thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful summer. Stay safe. Uh, Wear sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Wear the sunscreen. Drink the water. Wear a life jacket. Yep. Boat safety. Don't chase bears. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Don't chase the bears. They are not dogs. They are not. (laughs) Annie, look at the bear. (laughs) Okay. Having said all that, I think it is time for us uh, to step away. Take a toke. And go be moms. It's an extra job in the summer. It's wonderful, but it's intense. And it's lovely. I always find the children sort of blossom between the yeah. school in September yep. through all the activity and the swimming mm-hmm. and just the being together. It is a wonderful time. So That's we'll, right. we'll have lots of stories to tell. Yeah, and send us your stories because we love them too. If you've enjoyed today's episode or any episode in this season or any of the past 60 episodes, you can find all of those wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. And please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and of course, spend your summer telling your friends. That's right. Bye, Bye, ladies. ladies. Enjoy this music from Fendown Music. (laughs) 